Hello everyone and welcome to Scrapping Beauty, also known as Crazy Craft Obsession. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Cassandra and welcome to the channel. Today we are doing a Crazy Kit Monday. It will be the last one for the month. Uh, and I've decided to use the tags from one of the papers in the main kit. If you're not familiar with the Crazy Kits, we release three a month. We release a main, an embellishment kit and a mixed media kit. In today's layout, we will be using the embellishment kit and the main kit. So here we go, I'm just distressing those tags with my Tim Holtz paper distresser. And then I'm going to arrange them roughly on top of each other, overlapping, so that I can put my photo on top. Here we go, and then I'm going to bring in different size photos. While I do that, I will take the opportunity to say that the link to the shop is in the description box down below along with our Facebook page and Facebook group, Instagram, etc. We are an Australian based shop that ships to Australia and New Zealand so don't forget to check us out. Now I'm taking another one of those papers. This one here is from Paige Evans Bungalow Lane so is the tags and I'm ripping it very roughly. Another paper from Paige Evans Bungalow Lane and I'm going to rip it even wider so that I can put it behind it. And it kind of reminded me of grass a little bit. So I ripped it a little bit too wide so I'm coming back in and just uh, tearing it down a little bit and then I'm going to stick them down to the bottom of my page. Now I done this for a reason. I had a very distinct layout in mind and you will see it as it unfolds but I got to use some really fun elements that I would have otherwise not been able to use. And this here reminds me of a hill of grass. It uses the same colors as the tags. And let me tell you, yellow and green is not necessarily the colors that I go for. But it was fun using them in a layout. So I've got those tags. I'm going to take the opportunity to map my photo with a piece of white cardstock. Just fussing with the arrangement of those tags. I was like, how do I want it to go? Uh, but I will take in a piece of white cardstock, map my photo using my ATD gun, just like so, uh, and cut it out. Once I do that, I will be using my scissors, so if that gives you anxiety, not using a trimmer, never fear, please use a trimmer, but I, I just don't have time to trim around all of my photos and get them perfect. I'm just not a perfect girl. I am perfectly imperfect. So... <laughs> I'm then going to audition a few other papers to give it uh, another mat and I couldn't find one that I liked really. I end up going with one of the legendary papers that's in the main kit with the beautiful multicolored arrows and I trim it down enough so that you can kind of see that the arrows and kind of see all the different colors but it's not too obvious. If you're looking hard at them you can kind of go oh they're arrows but otherwise it's not too bad. So here we go, just trimming them down and then I'm going to come around the edges and distress them with my distressor, my paper distressor, just like so, so that it fits in with that really distressed look that we've got from all that paper tearing. And then I'm going to fiddle with the placement on my tags. Now originally I thought I would have one up and down and then I was going to have one, have them side to side and I end up putting them like so. It threw me off because normally I would use tags with a horizontal photo and this time I've chosen a vertical layout, a vertical photo because it's got those yellows and greens in the background. If you're wondering what the photo is of, we have two beautiful puppy dogs. The one at the front who's massive is Simba, he's a bull mastiff cross Great Dane and the one in the background is Jack, he is a Basinji cross Kelpie. And they are beautiful puppy dogs. Simba is definitely the uh, more well-behaved one out of the two. But they are beautiful nonetheless. Now I'm coming in with the washi tape stickers from 49er Market Vintage Artistry Collection. I absolutely love these. Absolutely love them. They did have a few uh, interesting elements to them. Like they had a few mushrooms and stuff like that because it was all about adventure. And that is what the March kit was based on. So I thought this is the perfect opportunity to use those mushrooms and I have to say I love how they came out. So if you're also struggling with those, have a think about a photo that would go with something like this because I swear it, it turns out beautifully. So I'm going to tuck those mushrooms into the top of my hill there so that it looks like they're coming out of the hill. 
stick them down and because they're washi tape they stick down so well and then I'm going to take the even bigger ones off that washi tape strip as well because I thought when you're using one you might as well use all they were a little bit difficult to get off I will say that though because they tear so easily because they're washi tape and originally I thought about putting them over the left hand side here but that didn't work so instead I end up overlapping them a little bit on the left hand side uh, on the right hand side and I overlap them with the other ones which gives them a very organic look. Very organic. Then I'm going to bring in my photo, stick that down with my um, tags and I'm going to position it so that it is just to the left of those mushrooms because I didn't want to cover them up. I liked them so much once they were on my page. I didn't want to cover them. They were awesome. So here we go. Sticking my uh, photo on I do end up covering all of the green on that tag which surprised me because I chose it for the green and then I covered the green what is up with that but being a mixed media artist you kind of get over that very quickly because you work really hard on your mixed media and then you cover it all up to be honest here we go stick this photo down just like so oh I love looking at those mushrooms hey oh they are beautiful so we'll stick that down I keep on pointing to them, but that is where my title is going to sit. So I believe that I bring in some titles next. And these ones here are the uh, puffy phrases from the Vicky Burton Fernwood collection. We do have the new Vicky Burton collection coming into our store very, very soon, which is super exciting. I knew that I also wanted to use those wishing baubles from the 49 and Market Vintage Artistry collection. And they had a few little epoxy words on them. I was tossing up on whether to use the word discover from here or the word discover from the Vicky Burton and the chipboard just didn't go. It was too large. It will end up making it on another layout and I will utilize it, but it was just too large with the tags and the photo and everything here as well. Instead comes in that puffy phrase um, discover and it goes over the top of my tags to tie them in. And then I thought about adding in a few other puffy phrases underneath but they were really throwing off my mushrooms. And once I got my mushrooms on my page, I didn't want to throw them off. I, I'm not, yeah, I, I can't explain it. I, I can't explain it. So I end up taking off the puffy phrase stickers and going with an epoxy sticker from the Wishing Bubbles set. So my title becomes Discover Outside, which is totally fitting for the doggies uh, being outside. They were out the front. We were uh, having a few people come to the house and they were quite enjoying greeting everyone coming to the house. And then I'm going to bring in some florals to go up the side of either of my, up either side of my page. These ones here, you may notice them, you may not. They are from, from the flora and fauna paper from Fernwood, which is featured as, as a cut apart in the collection. So I've gone ahead and fussy cut all of these florals out. And they fit in so perfectly with this layout. Can't believe how well they go. So I'm just bringing them in. They will need to be trimmed down off the edge of my page. And then the ones that don't work because they're too chunky, I'm just trimming down to the next flower in line. And it works perfectly. So, sorry, the page has gone off the top of the camera. You'd think by now I would learn these things, but apparently not. But it does come back into focus sooner or later. In the meantime, it's only cutting off a little bit of flower there. And I'm going to come in and fussy cut off this big uh, red flower because I wanted to place it above my photo and it was protruding too much onto my photo. So off it comes, just like so. And you can see how they really frame in that photo. There's no frame necessary for this page because the flowers do all the work for you as well as being your embellishment cluster. I've just brought in another pink flower from the flora and fauna paper that I fussy cut and then I'm going to bring in a couple from the, I believe it was the Simple Story Simple Vintage Coastage Coastal Collection Floral Ephemera Bits is what was part of the embellishment kit for this month. So I'm going to bring them in, just trimming off that white border on that one so it looks a little bit more natural. And I'm going to chuck them in over the top for some layering of those flowers because as if they didn't have enough layering already, we need a little bit more. So there we go, sticking that one down. And then I end up bringing in a couple of butterflies from that floral ephemera pack as well. So I bring in a teal butterfly, 
and it's going to go up in the left hand side near that, that flower that I just stuck on. I also bring in a pink butterfly which is going to go over on the right hand side and a yellow butterfly that goes on the left hand side there. Because we had a really bright yellow flower on the right hand side, we needed a really bright yellow butterfly on the left hand side. And similar thing with that pink butterfly there and the teal butterfly. We had a teal flower on the right hand side, so we got a teal butterfly on the left hand side and we've got a pink flower that we added on the left hand side, so we got a pink butterfly on the right hand side. So. I'm then going to bring in a few more of those washi tape uh, stickers. So there's a beautiful dragonfly there that I end up putting up near the yellow flower on the right hand side. And again, because it's washi tape, absolutely flawless. It's like it's a Roblin transfer. Looks amazing. Then I used this butterfly on another layout and it unfortunately didn't make it on, but it makes it onto this one. So it's going to join that yellow butterfly. And I found by putting a couple more washi tape stickers on, it really just blended in with those mushrooms. So they are going to stay there. Then I'm going to come in with a few more mushrooms from the uh, Vintage Artistry uh, Wishing Bubbles set and a beautiful blue butterfly. So the mushrooms join the mushroom patch and it just adds, it kind of takes the eye away from that because it was all black and white and adds a bit of color which blends in with the borders. I also bring in a round circle epoxy button which says nature lover and it had some cute little uh, epoxy hearts on there as well so I bring them in for a little bit of scattering so they get scattered around my title and both clusters I am then going to come in with the legendary accessory sticker from Coke Vanilla Studios and it comes with a whole heap of tiny word stickers down the bottom before I do that though, I'm going to trim off those flowers because I didn't know where my layout finished and where it started. So now it looks a little bit more like a layout. You can see that top left hand corner now that I've brought it back in. I'm going to bring in some little circles from the Vintage Artistry Wishing Bubbles just to cover up those tag holes because I didn't want to put any um, string on the layout. So instead it looks like I've used a brad and skewered them on. And then I'm going to come in with my tiny word stickers. So if a tiny word sticker is too long, I end up trimming it down and I love the way that it looks when it steps down. So on the right hand side, I trimmed it down and it says adventure at weights. On the left hand side, I'm going to trim it down and it says explore the world with world being down the bottom. And then up the very top near that butterfly, I'm going to put in adventurous spirit, which totally suits our puppy dogs. They are beautiful. With that, I am finally going to add in some journaling lines on the right hand side of my page. I did toss up where I was going to put these journaling lines because I didn't know if I wanted them underneath my photo or over on the right hand side and I did settle for on the right hand side just above my title and it totally goes once I've added my journaling. It looks perfectly fine. So I'm just using a felt tip pen and my T-square ruler just to add a couple of those. And I'll be going around the edge and adding in a squiggly border in between the flowers and the torn paper. And that concludes the layout. Don't forget to check out the links in the description box and like and subscribe if you like this video. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!